trained out of Strike Force MMA in Canterbury, New Zealand. He is the reigning, defending carnage in the cage, the lightweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, Kieran, the stone cutter, Jobless. Kia ora, bro. Um, thanks for joining me via Skype. Um, where are you at right now? You're in Christchurch, right? Yeah, bro. Christ sitting at home in Christchurch. Christ How cold is it down there? Uh, frosty and cold, bro. Yeah. Freezing. I guess I'll start um, with with this brace card coming up. Um, when's that coming up and um, who are you going to be fighting? So, bro, yeah, so it's uh, June 17th, uh, two weeks away, Stack Day's card. Um, I'm fighting Greg Zori from Integrated MMA in Brisbane, Australia. Oh, yeah. It's a respected gym, isn't it? Yeah, bro, we've got some, some beasts coming out of there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I see his record is 17 and 8. Um, he's, he's sort of got the same kind of record as you, a few subs, a lot of KOs. So yeah. how do you see his strengths? Um, like against your strengths. Yeah, he's um, I think he's the first guy I fought that's going to be taller and longer than me. So, um, that'll be a big part of how I approach the fight. Yep. Um, he's got yeah, pretty good striking and like very good ground games. So that'll be what I'll be like looking out for, and um, but pretty very confident. That I'll, um, that I'll get it done. Um, I see posts about the Strike Force new gym um, with the is it Liga and a Jiu Jitsu gym or wrestling gym? All three uh, yeah, yeah. joining together, is it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Strike Force Canterbury for the MMA. Yep. Um, Strike Force uh, Liga Christchurch with Wayne Vega and Groundworks BJJ with Hayden Wilson. So we're all, all in the same place. So nice. it's. Um, me and for training can pretty much jump from class to class now. Yeah, yeah. Um, is there any um, standouts down there that you're training with? Maybe some guys that we should know about and keep an eye on? Yeah, yeah there's like, like uh, my main training partner, um, James Bishop. He's fighting the night after me during 18th in, in AFC. He's in the semifinals for the, the AFC Lightweight Tournament. Okay. He's, um, he's a beast. Um, I think there's... So my other teammate Cole Davids, he's making his comeback, fighting on brace. Yeah, yeah. The week after, Muchy Toms is fighting on Hex in Melbourne. Um, yeah, it's just uh, Bo Rawadi's fighting Super Fight League, also a title that weekend as well. So the next the next three weeks is a big week for, for all the Strike Force boys there. Eh? Uh, so one of the other boys as well was um, Josh McDonald. He's like New Zealand amateur amateur featherweight champ. Um, yep. been training like a beast like last last year hard so he's need need to profile an Aussie real soon. Oh, does he? Yeah. yeah. Um, how how does that work over here? He's he's the champ. Which who's who's the champs of of what organisations? Like is it is it clear who's the champ or is there a few champs in New Zealand? Um. Yeah, I can the I can New Zealand seems quite quiet, eh? On the on the title side, eh? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't really. Yeah, there's no. Like, when I started out, it seemed like the scene was huge. Like, like Dan and Rod and Gareth Ely, like, yeah. All those guys were like fighting legends and like supremacy champs and stuff. Yep. And it was pretty, um, yeah, pretty big, but now it seems like. Yeah, it's just hard to know who the. What's sort of going on, I reckon, in the New Zealand scene? Yeah, yeah. Totally. I, I, I've been away for a few years in Aussie, but when I left, like, um, I, well, ICNZ had just finished, but yeah, Supremacy yeah. Um, seemed like whoever had that belt was the man, to me, anyway. Yeah. And um, then Shuruken, they're in there as well. It's, it's sort of who, who is the man, like, I don't, I'm not sure. Like yeah, you, you know, you hear the same name over and over, and he's winning, so you think oh, it must be him. But like, um, who's got that belt? I don't know. Yeah, because yeah, Hammerhead's been putting on some pretty good yeah, shows the last few years, and yeah, they 
they've got a few a few total total holders in that. They're probably the most active show when it comes to champs in that. Like probably still a showcase as well, but it doesn't seem the same as it was like three or four years ago. Like, nah. it seem not the same sort of weight, hey? Nah, it doesn't. Nah. Yeah. Any plans after this fight? Do you already know who what you're gonna be doing? Is it is it up in the air? Um, I have a couple of fights. I think I'm defending my Carnage in the Cage title September. Um, yeah. Might have another fight booked in for July and then hopefully have something go back to Canada again and fight on that Triumph FC before the end of the yeah. year. Yeah. Hopefully. So that's another three fights yeah. this year. So that'll be that'll be a nice busy year, eh? Um I watch I watch too much probably and I listen to a lot of podcasts. Um Something yeah. that stood out this week was the Chael Sonnen podcast. And he's, he's, he's really trying to tell the fighters that once your fight is finished, your next fight promotion starts. And when they ask you who you want to fight, you should have a name ready. You should already know who you want to say. If, if someone came up to you and said, who do you want to fight in the UFC tomorrow, who, who would you say? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd fight Anthony Pettis, eh? Anthony Pettis, yeah. Like, there's some guys that are lightweight that are very scary, but yep. for some reason it doesn't, doesn't worry me, eh? Nah, like, nah. If it, was, if it was Edson Barbosa or something like that, I'd probably be like, oh, I don't know, bro, but Pettis, oh, yeah, doesn't faze me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been on a bit of a... He's just on a bit of a skid at the moment, to tell you the truth. Uh, he got his ass. I ain't playing Sage too, bro. I want to fight Sage as well. Sage, yeah. Yeah, he's got the golden ticket, that fella. <laughs> on that 40 and 40. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully, uh, Brace is going to do, I think in the in the pipeline is to do, like have Brace and Dylan champs. And the New Zealand brace champ will fight the Australian brace champ at the end of the year, sort of thing. So hopefully that'll um, bring some hype back up. Yeah, that's that, that's great. That's straight away gets me hyped. I see a Kiwi fight the Aussie champ. That's that's excellent. Yeah, that's great. That's what that's what we want to hear as a fan. Anyway, I know you guys. Yeah. I know you guys. Your gyms are quite tight. This, I mean, you know, it is New Zealand. It's not a massive place. And then you get yeah. three of you fellas from Strike Force holding, holding belts in different <laughs> places. That's not gonna, you know, that sort of ties it up a bit. Anyway, oh well, bro. Thanks a lot. I'll um, I'll let you go, and um, I'll be watching that brace because I know it's a free on Fight Pass, eh? Yeah, bro. bro. Yeah, you gotta have Fight Pass, bro. It's it's mean. Anyone that doesn't have Fight Pass, I, I just tell them to try it for that month for free, bro. It's the it's the bomb. Yeah, it's bro. like three bloody events every month for free and then the pay-per-view yeah. you go to your mate's place yeah no it's, it's mean eh? it's uh it's all you need yeah <laughs> fuck yeah no it's mean all right bro um all the best karen and uh, all Thanks, the best bro. of training of course because that's that's where all the hard work is done and then you yeah, fight easy bro smash this dude's head off see you bro all right thank you bro. Thanks for having me bro all right cheers bro see you bro see ya.